Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to My Star with Asa. My name is Angel Tony Asa, Prince of the Sun, and we are at Infinity Lounge and Cafe here, right, in Intinda, Capital Shoppers. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have a different type of person that is part of our show. She's a model, an engineering student, an ambassador of Ernest Care Foundation. Ladies and gentlemen, help me introduce none other than Christine Broda Nazite. Hi, Christine. Hi. Nazite. You're most welcome. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm good. You're good? How, who is Christine? First, tell us. Who is Christine? We need to know who Christine is. Uh, sure. Mm -hmm. Christine is a female Ugandan. Okay. That's, most, that's important. Mm -hmm. um, she's, a, she's a model. Mm -hmm. She's an engineering student yeah. and an uh, electric and electronic student. Yes. Um, she's an ambassador of Ernest Care Foundation. Mm -hmm. I um, currently have, uh, we deal in helping orphans, women mm. that cannot help themselves, you know, this generation. Yeah. So currently we're having, uh, it's called, an, sorry. It's what? It's called the campaign. It's yes. a menstrual hygiene campaign. Yes. We're going to go to Mbali, the mm. UPE schools. You know, mm. girls cannot help themselves. So mm. we're going to take them pads, mm. uh, towels, anything that can help them. So, mm. so this campaign is open to all of us. You can donate, you can buy a pad, you can buy one. Mm. Pads are very cheap. Mm. It's 3,000. You can buy one for a girl or two, any pad or soap, anything mm. can help. Okay. Wow. That's honest. Care Foundation, yeah? Sure. Now, uh, let me first take you back behind to modeling. You're a model, right? Yeah, sure. What, what have you done so far in the modeling industry? Are you a, what type of model are you? Um, I'm a runway model. You're a runway model, okay. Um, I'm as well, I'm not a glamour model, but okay. I, I emphasize more on that. Mm. I do other type of models, editorial, uh, uh, runway. Mm. Any background to which you've done so far? Um, uh, since I just joined modeling last year, I've mm. not done many, many things. Mm. I just did runway it was uh, in Fort Porto. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, why do you say you're not a grammar model? Um, you said you always emphasize that. Yeah, why? I always emphasize that. Why? I'm not a person who likes showing my body so much. Okay. Sure. Do you want to, to keep it closed? Keeping my things. There. What are that one she's showing? That one is not showing what glamour models show. <laughs> <laughs> glamour models show more than that. They yeah, put on lingerie and sounds. all that, and you can't do that. But you know, while modeling, uh, uh, for example, if you're, I think you know these shows like A Brands, The Asfas, mm. Kampala Fashion Week, you get international designers who want you to. Moving like lingerie or very skimpy things, would you refuse for the money and the fame? Um, I'll surely refuse. You there are many ways of down. making fame in, mm. in modeling. Mm. Yeah, I can make money commercially mm -hmm. and still in modeling mm -hmm. than showing my body. Then showing just your don't, body. I just don't feel comfortable. You're just not comfortable with it. Exactly. Okay. So, um, by the way, which, which uh, um, agents are you, are you signed to? Um, it's so bad I forgot to talk about that. Mm -hmm. I'm signed in Bliss 256. Bliss, Bliss 256. Yes. Okay. How did you join Bliss? Um, some, uh, I was connected to my manager, mm. Emmanuel Ekora, mm -hmm. and he has helped me a lot. Okay. Yeah. He helped you a lot. Okay, great. So, um, you're a student leader, yeah? Sure. Engineering student. Mm. Where did you get that? Uh, what, what type of engineering do you do, by the way? Um, as I mentioned before, mm. I'm an electronics and electrical engineer. Mm. Um, this thing has, in, has been in me since childhood, okay. you know, uh, opening uh, my, 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 mom's, uh, my mother's televisions, radios, mm. me all the time in sockets, mm. so it has been in me since hey, From when your child used to go for sockets and exactly. all that. What? <laughs> You've never been electrocuted, or like they never shocked you. Like, oh, that happens many times. And More it's than once, and mm. it's now normal to me. It's now normal. Okay. So, do you see yourself becoming an engineer that you climb poles one time of electricity or something? Sure, I can. Are you sure? You can do that. 
Exactly. Wow. <laughs> okay, so um, as a student leader, uh, what, what, what's your career path? Which, which, what type of leader are you? Your, which position? I'm the female affairs minister okay. at my institute. At your ICT? Yeah, your ICT. Okay. What does the female affairs minister do? Uh, a female affairs minister, mm. since it's that title alone describes what a female affairs minister does. Okay. I deal more of girl issues, girl child issues. Mm. Empowering them, helping them in case they have gotten a problem mm. at campus. There, you know, girls get problems and they don't have any person to talk to. Some there to mm. help them. Okay. Yeah, girls face issues at uh, institutions and campuses where lecturers disturb them. Mm. Some there to help them. Okay. Well, uh, as the female uh, affairs leader, you're, you're organizing something for the women, yeah? yeah. What is that you're, you're organizing? Uh, I'm organizing an event. I don't want it to help only the UICT fraternity, mm. but I want it to help in mm. girls in institutions and universities as well. Uh, we called it the Women is Garage. Mm. Girls, uh, girls from different universities and institutions mm. come together. We're going mm. to meet at the ICT Innovations Hub, yeah. which is at Nakawa Steel in my okay. institute. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get facilitators. Um, mm -hmm. Miss Stella Nantum, but Miss Uganda 2013, oh. wow. will be among them. Mm -hmm. We have different, uh, different facilitators that are going to come. Mm. Sure. And I urge all girls to come. So what, what, what's the agenda? Like what are you going to be talking about? What will you be showcasing? What will you? Uh, this event is uh, majorly empowering girls, mm. uh, helping them boost their confidence in day-to-day -day life, mm. uh, helping them in leadership. Girls don't go for leadership. Mm. So it's all about that. Okay. So you're, you're, in what capacity do you invite Stella? Is she a leader or is she, or is she a role model or is she a beauty queen? Like in what capacity? Why, why do you think she's the best candidate to um, come and attend? To, because uh, Miss, Miss Stella mm. finds she's a beauty queen, but mm. we've seen her in different aspects of life. Mm. And I believe she has the best words she can tell the girls to mm. help them, empower mm. them, build them. Okay. Is there food? Food is there. <laughs> food is there. Girls, food is there. Free food, they should come Free and food. eat as much as they can. Exactly. Breakfast okay. and lunch. Did you allow some guys, like one or two, we come at least and, and be there? Mm -mm. This is the women's garage. <laughs> No, at least allow two, at least two guys or three guys who come and, and be there and see what's going on. No, we're going to talk girl child things. We don't so need any confidence. You don't need guys, you know. <laughs> okay, so as a person empowering girls, which challenges do you see girls facing at the moment in this current world that is really eating them up? Um, sure, it's confidence. One major thing is confidence. It takes a girl, a girl Mm. Uh, too much courage to come out and speak what's going on in, in her life. Okay. It's very hard for them to come out and talk about things. Mm. Yeah, girls suffer out there when they cannot come out and speak. Okay. You can find a girl suffering because of maybe a guy, maybe someone is blackmailing her, but she cannot stand on mm. her ground and speak. Mm. Sure. Blackmailing her, but nowadays there are many nudes of girls coming out. Is it in the blackmail or they accept? How do they accept it to happen? Uh, about nudes coming out, mm. uh, it's uh, it's in different ways. Okay. You know, girls fall in love. Yes. Guys, they do they do those things yes. while in love. Yes. Then after love, after mm. maybe they break up, that's when those things happen. Mm. Uh, that's part of the blackmail. Maybe a guy wants something from her. Maybe she maybe the guy wants her back and she doesn't want. Mm -hmm. So the guy will decide. And when she refuses, the guy decides to do that. To so I would advise the girls to stop taking nudes in that garage as well. Sure, you know when uh, when you're in love, you want to maybe make your guy mm -hmm. happy, but Everything you have to think happen. exactly. But yeah. you have to think of the future as well. Yeah. How come guys sex tips don't come out and nudes? And it's mainly girls. Mm, that's why we need to meet in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, in university, other than confidence, what are girls facing, which is really giving them? Okay, let me rephrase. 
as a growing up, strong young lady growing up, what is your take on woman emancipation and its effect on, on marriages and all that? Marriages. Is it affecting, is the girl child feeling so confident that I can do my things and it's breaking relationships and marriages? Sure. Do you think it's, there's a problem with too much emancipation? Not too much. What's your take? Not too much emancipation, but uh, how they sensitize them. Mm -hmm. You cannot tell a girl, be confident and have equal rights. Mm -hmm. So the girl will take, I have to have equal rights everywhere. Mm -hmm. Though they fail to understand, equal rights don't be everywhere. Mm -hmm. When uh, there are aspects of life when there are no equal rights. If it's work and I need to be a manager and a fellow, maybe a guy, mm -hmm. we are both on that. We have to go there, we equal. Mm. But then when it comes to marriage, mm -hmm. as a woman, mm -hmm. you have to go down. You have to at least be early to submissive. Exactly, you have to okay. accept that, that, you that you're a man. Okay. So you don't support ladies who say, I can live without a man. I don't support them. You don't. You have to compliment each other. Exactly. I've seen women mm. who suffer mm. when they're alone. Um, mm. An example is my mom. Mm. So I don't support women who say they can be there on their own. Mm. Sometimes somewhere things fail and you mm. need someone to help you. Okay. Wow, that is so smart. <laughs> there are few people who say that. Ooh la la. <laughs> <laughs> so um, uh, what we're going to do, Roger, at least we have, is there anything else that you feel I haven't asked you that you feel you really want to tell people before we go to the next segment? Um, not so much, but mm -hmm. uh, I would encourage girls to be confident. Just all in all, to be confident. Mm. When you're confident, you can go out for something you yeah. want. You mm. can uh, go for a job. Mm -hmm. You can do anything you want when you're confident. Mm. And it can help you do things you want to do. Sometimes mm. you want to do things, but because of their confidence, you will not do it. Mm. So encourage them to boost their confidence okay. in life. It will help okay. them so much. Wow. All right. Uh, merci beaucoup. Rhoda Christine. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you've heard from Rhoda, young girls out there, those aspiring to become strong women out there, please just learn to be confident and follow our dreams. Once you do that, definitely the gates of heaven shall be open to you and life will be limitless. My name is Angel Tony Ace, a Prince of the Sun, and we are going for a short break. When we come back, we're going to have the other side of Rhoda, the cheesy side, not the busy lady, not the business girl. Not the serious leader, but the other side that we all don't know. See you right after this break. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Angel Tony Esa, Prince of the Sun, and I'm with the beautiful Rhoda Christine Tina Nazite. Ladies and gentlemen, she has spoken a lot, but before we go into the cheesy side of Rhoda, let me ask her one more question. So, Rhoda, I had forgotten to ask you, you said you were signed with Bliss, right? Sure. With Bliss 256. So, uh, are you just a model or you're in a leadership role or I don't know? Um, as, as I said before, mm. um, you, we cannot empower, okay, you can empower, but at a certain level, you cannot empower someone when you're not somewhere. Yes. When you don't have what to tell them because you can tell a girl, I'm here because of this, I'm mm. here because of this, mm. and you can do it as well. Yeah. So I thank God I work with Bliss Models. Yeah, yeah. Um, I work with uh, Emmanuel Ekora, mm -hmm. my manager. I yeah. cannot forget that. Mm. I work as uh, administrative operations okay. and then public relations as well. Wow. Yeah, sure. Administrative. Okay. So do you also recruit models? Is that also your job? When? Like, do you do casting? Casting, yeah, sure. And auditions. So can I come and try? <laughs> Yeah? Yeah, can I can come and audition. <laughs> wow. I may make it as a model as well. <laughs> and my dreams will come true. <laughs> so thank you very much. Now, Rhoda, let's go to the other side, yeah? When was the last time you cried? Um, yesterday. Yesterday. Is there a reason? Many or we reasons. keep it to that? <laughs> was it a heartbreak? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> when was the first time you realized that you're in love? Oh. It was, um, it was last year. Last year? Yeah, wow. when I realized that re re love is real and it's the... Wow, it took so long. All these years, in primary, you didn't get like, a crush or in well, secondary. So <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, growing up, 
yeah? What memories do you remain, remember as your worst childhood memory? Worst childhood memory? Yeah. Sure, since... Um, what happened? It was about family issues. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll talk about it, I don't hide it. Yeah. It's about my mom and my dad. The worst part was my mom and my dad uh, separated. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, it was a bad, traumatizing memory, right? Exactly. Okay, I can imagine. Don't cry, I don't have tissue. And <laughs> you know, I see you wanna cry. <laughs> no, I'm a woman, I don't cry. Okay, and then when, when growing up, what was your best childhood memory that you remember? Wow, this is this memory I'll never forget. Um, having uh, those uh, Christmas Easter meals with family. When, mm -hmm. uh, my mom is a Muganda. When you sit down, Balitolu you know. Kamatoke. Exactly. You mm -hmm. eat. Dad serves you come eat. Mom mm -hmm. also gives you meat. Wow. Uh, yeah. You just can't imagine. And you, you feel like the memories should be rolled back. The years should be rolled back. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, you cannot do it in your next house. Don't worry. In your next home. Yeah. Coming years. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, what makes you pissed off instantly? Disrespect. Disrespect. Okay. Any form of disrespect? Any form. Okay. And what makes you happy instantly? It's quite Apart hard. Apart from food. Uh, food is food is a must. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I said about from it, huh? When I realize someone when I feel loved, yeah. when I realize someone loves me. Mm -hmm. And any effort that shows that I'm loved, it okay. makes me happy. Yeah. I love you, Rod. <laughs> Are you happy? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, so Rhoda, uh, if you're the president of the Republic of Uganda and you're told right now to request for a meal for lunch that you would eat, what would that meal be? A meal. Mr. President, Mrs. President, please tell us what should we offer you for lunch? For lunch? Um... It's a meal because you know meals are different. They are mm -hmm. meals that just give us joy, and that's mm -hmm. also a meal. Yeah. If they um, build hospitals everywhere, mm. that meal would make me happy. No, come yeah, on. Just, I know. I'll say the Irish shall say the word. No, I want food. <laughs> I'm going for food. A meal. <laughs> not politics. <laughs> I'm not a politician. Okay, they are telling you. Mm. Present, you're hungry. Which food should we give you? Are you local food? Are you, uh, fast foods? Like, what would you order for? Like, I want to eat this as a president. Once so, what the president would eat. As a president, I need to, to live longer. So, I'll eat, um, I'll eat rice, mm -hmm. not fried, mm -hmm. and uh, greens. Rice and greens. Plus beef. Yes. So, steamed rice. Mm -hmm. Not fried rice. Yeah. Okay. Brother, cooking or eating out? Cooking. Cooking. You prefer to cook? Wow. If you had a chance to write a book about your life, what would the title be? A strong Woman. Strong Woman. Any background to it? Yeah, my uh -huh. childhood as I was growing and now as well. Okay. Every woman there needs to be strong. Wow. Two more. If you had a, a friend who is a, a musician, who is a guy and you were told to go out for a drink or something, who would that be? A guy? A musician, a musician Ugandan. Apart from Fik Famaika. Fik Famaika is not one. I'll go with... Uh, I'll go with Palasso. Who? Palasso. Oh la la. And if it was a girl, like female musician, to go out with and have a talk and all that, mm. who would that be? I'd go with Feliuji. Who? Feliuji. Feliuji. Oh. Okay. Do you wow. know Feliuji? I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, so finally, we've come to the close of our amazing show. Just use one minute, look at your camera direct and give your final remarks, then we can close. Okay, I would uh, talk about three things. In the first place, I'll talk about my campaign, the menstrual hygiene campaign. Um, please, uh, Ugandans out there, and even if not Ugandan, Let's help girls out there, they are suffering, especially when the, the cycle comes in, I mean periods. Girls are suffering out there, let's help them. Uh, second thing I'll talk about is the garage. Uh, 
you can register with me. I'm going to put out the flyers, your emails. We shall share the email with you guys. You come for the garage, food is there, breakfast, and I know you will not regret. Then the last thing, girls, please be strong. This world is so hard. You need to be strong and make it alive. Thank you. Wow. Thank you very much, Tina, Tina. Ladies and gentlemen, Tina said the very beautiful words to all the ladies. And who am I? Did I leave them? Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for following us. Remember, it shows every Friday at 7 p.m. here in Infinity Lounge in Tinder. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get all the best of our episodes. My name is Angel Tony Ace, Prince of the Sun. Ciao, adios. I'm done.